Pedro DoorDash Santiago. You're a complainer, you're negative, you're, you're a naysayer. In 2024, I'm not sparing anybody feelings and we're just gonna get down to the nitty gritty and the truth must be told. It's DDK and I'm back with another video. And this was long overdue. It's been a long journey for this whole thing. I wanna give you guys a whole breakdown of everything and make sure you smash that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a backstory on how we started with doing gig work in general. Now, we first started off doing DoorDash. Then we started doing Uber Eats and then we added a whole bunch of different apps. So, in the meantime, in between time, between all of this time, we've been doing gig work for about two, two years and a few months, right? One thing I have always noticed is people always come in my comments section talking about Pedro DoorDash Santiago. I've gotten multiple messages about them, some good and some bad. Majority of them bad. I have a few I'm gonna tell you guys about right now. We are gonna get down to business, cause I ain't cut, look. In 2024, I'm not sparing anybody feelings and we're just gonna get down to the nitty gritty and the truth must be told. So I'm here to do that. Y'all already know on this channel, I'm always, always transparent and I'm always gonna keep it real and keep that still. Now, this was two years ago. We got this comment right here. I hope you're not a follower of Pedro, no tip, no trip, attention grabber, Lopez. First, I wanna say, let me start right there. I think his last name is Santiago. I'm clear, I'm pretty sure that's his last name because that's what his name is. His name is Pedro Dordash Santiago. They put Lopez, so I don't know why. But he leading all he leading y'all astray. You make more money than him. Take care of your clients. Be yourself. Too many of drivers following him, and he not making the bag. Like everyone else, I like your channel, your original, but don't follow others. Shaking my damn head. That's what they said. That's what they said. I'm telling you everything that they said. So that one was actually two years ago. As of more recently, it ain't like recent, recent, but probably like a few months ago, somebody said, best channel on YouTube, not what Prejo said. Laugh out loud, just kidding, just kidding. That's what they saying. And then last but not least, I got, I got three on four. Well, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all four. I got another one. Where the other one at? Let me find that joint. Okay, this is another one. Now, this was two years ago when I'm the first comment I, I wrote, I mean, I read, the first comment I read, this was a, a reply to that comment. So, somebody said, Cars and Crib, that guy, DoorDash Santiago, is a drama queen. He creates women drama uh, so people watch him and acts like he's an expert and gets angry at people. His channel is just negative energy. He's all, he always pessimistic in every video he's ever done. He never has anything good to say about anything. And then last but not least is this last one right here. This one was just like two days ago when I said that I was slowing down on the channel. I was gonna go gonna post two to three times per day versus posting five times a week. I mean, two to three times per week versus posting five times a week. Somebody said, keep going and pass scam artist Pedro DoorDash Bro. F that don't quit. That's what they said. I'm telling you, I'm look. Hey, if the kids are in the room, I'm pause out. My fault. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I told you guys that most of people have been coming about Pedro DoorDash Santiago since we started YouTube. And I want to say this. First things first. Is Pedro a scam artist? That's the first thing. Is he really a scam artist? The first thing I want to say is, personally, I don't even know Pedro. I don't know nothing about Pedro, and honestly, I've seen this channel a few times over the years, so I don't know if he's a scam artist, he's not. That's up to you to judge, but look, if you don't like what Pedro does on his channel, why do you continue to go over there and watch his, his channel? Why do you continue to do that? You sitting here, somebody saying, somebody talking about uh, Pedro complains too much, you're, going, you're coming to my channel to complain about somebody saying that they complaining about something. You complaining to me about it. It don't even make sense. That's the first thing. Now, the next thing is, is he the best gig tuber? Personally, I feel like if he says he's the best gig tuber to him, then he is. If he thinks he is, well, who am I to tell him that he ain't the best gig tuber? I think I'm the best. I think ain't nobody messed me. I think it's not even close. But he should feel the same way. I also want to give a message out to the fellas out there. Fellas, please, 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 because this makes you look bad. Do not be in front of your girl whining and complaining and moaning and groaning about another man and about what they're doing with what they're doing on their channel. Please don't do that because it looks bad on you. Do not do that. 
Now, a lot of people have a lot of negative things, some positive, some negative, to say about Pedro. But guess what? While you complain and, and, and mad and frustrated and all that stuff, he's out there making money. That's what he's doing right now. This is the reason why you have no money, you always complaining, and you're very negative. It's because you're too busy worried about everybody else. That's the whole purpose of this video. Y'all thought I was gonna come on here, try to go uh, go crazy on Pedro. That's not the case. I'm going crazy on you because you need to be held, be held accountable for the things you're doing. You're so busy worried about everybody else. You need to worry about yourself. If you continue to worry about everybody else, how are you gonna have time to chase your dream? You're so worried about what Pedro doing and what I'm doing, what everybody else doing, you need to worry about you, yourself, your family. If you have kids, your kids. You know, the things and your goals and achievements that you want to accomplish, you need to worry about that stuff versus worrying about Pedro. Again, this is the reason why you're in a predicament you're in. You want to worry about everybody else. I hail all of the subscribers and fans and supporters, and I held them accountable. Now I need to hold some YouTubers accountable as well. And it's so, guess what? YouTubers or people who want to be a YouTuber, do not let these comments and people talking gas you up and send you off. Gas you up like a healing balloon. Do not let them do it. Because some of these people, they just out of pocket. They're, they're, they're down on their luck in life and they want to come on and gas you up and send you off. And now they go over to one channel and say something. And then once you say something, somebody said this and then back and forth, back he say, she say. So I'm going to give you guys an example of this what happened, right? So there was a comment, I really looked hard for this comment, but I could not find it. It was a comment on my channel, and then it was a comment on my guy Double Them channel, my guy Mark the Mentor. So there was a person who said something to me about uh, telling all the people all about all the apps and all that stuff on my channel. So then, I look, I'm in the sauna chilling, right? One day, I'm in the sauna, right? Just a minute ago. I'm in the sauna chilling, I'm, you know, I'm, look, I'm getting myself together, because I, I gotta go out here and get busy and get this money. I'm listening, you I'm listening to my guy Double M, Mark the Mentor. This is a while ago, I'm listening. And then I, I hear him, they talking, talking, talking. And I'm like, yeah, it's a guy, He Mark, like he from here, he be running around, hit him with the photo, he talk loud, he be yelling, all that stuff. So I'm thinking, about, he talking about me, so I'm gassed up, like, yeah, my guy Double M talking about me, so I'm gassed up, right? So, I go in the comment section, I see somebody who's commenting on my videos, also coming on his videos. And the, the, the subject they was talking about was letting people know about the gig apps and all that stuff or helping people. Now, Mark specifically said, if you know about an app, you need to help people. If it was him, he would help people. Because he said that when I first got the uh, Sprinter van, the first video I did, when we did that uh, that run, we did that run, that freight run, we went to go pick up that uh, the mail. We went to go pick up the mail, drop off the mail places, right? So, what Mark didn't know is that I specifically did not say the app in the video so I can get all the comments. So people can say, what's the app, what's the app, what's the app? That's the reason why I did that. So Mark, I guess he's seen that and people had told him that I wasn't answering comments. So Mark like, yeah, if he got some information, he should tell somebody the information. Don't try to hoard the information. Don't tell nobody stuff. And then Axel, Axel Live, you know who that is. He was saying that, no, he shouldn't tell people. So the person in the comment section went down there and said, yeah, you talking about cars and cribs. Me and him went back and forth. And, uh, yeah, I told him he don't need to be giving out people apps and all this stuff. He don't need to be doing that. That's stupid. And blah, blah, blah. He went there and just said all this stuff. And some of the stuff was, it was reverse of what really happened. Then, guess what? He come to my channel and say, yeah, I was on, and see, 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 this, this is the reason why I'm going to tell y'all. Do not let them gas y'all up. He come to my channel and say this. Yeah, I was watching this other YouTube channel. He ain't put Mark her name in it. He ain't put Mark her name in it. I, yeah, I was watching this other YouTube channel, and he said that you shouldn't be telling people to apps and move, move. He then came to my channel and flipped the whole thing. And if I didn't hear what Mark had really said, I would have went off him and got gassed up and sent off. So now I'm beefing with Mark because the subscriber, the, the, the person in the went told him this and told me that. Like, do not get caught up into that goofball stuff. You got to be smart out here. Do not let these people send you off. A lot of people like drama. A lot of people like all this nonsense. That's the reason why you clicked on this video right now. Because you thought that I was about to go gas, uh, go crazy on Pedro. And instead, I'm saying that, Pedro, this is what I'm saying to you. I got a message to you, Pedro. Keep doing your thing. No matter what anybody say, do what you want to do with your channel, how you want to do it. If they don't want to get the information that you're giving, subscribe uh, people. Do not watch it if you don't if you don't want to get the information. Why are you whining and complaining about it? Don't come to my channel. Don't be disrespectful. I'm gonna start blocking y'all. Don't come to my channel trying to send me off and say somebody this. I don't even really care. I'm honestly, I'm too busy worrying about what I got going on. I'm trying to retire my mom. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to retire my mom. I'm trying to get tens of millions of dollars. I don't have time to be worrying about other people and what they're doing. And let me go ahead and say something about this. 
Previously, I said that you're broke, you're a complainer, you're negative, you're, you're a naysayer, you're all this, you're a hater, you're all this and all that. And you might say, well, how you know he broke? Right? Do you want me to tell you why? I know. I know because people with money don't have time to be worried about other people that's getting money. They don't got time to be worried. They worry about what they doing. They ain't got time to be worrying about what, they, what Pedro doing, what I'm doing, what other people doing. They keeping their head down and they making their money and they moving on. That's what I want to talk about. I'm getting tired. Look, I do not really care about what anybody else is doing. You need to focus on yourself. If you do not focus on yourself, how are you going to create wealth? How are you going to do that? Now, I appreciate you tuning into the channel and watching this video. If you do not take anything I've said from this video, take this one thing with you. Just worry about yourself. It's going to get you way further in life. You don't need to worry about me. You don't need to worry about Pedro. You don't need to worry about all these other YouTubers. You need to worry about yourself. Take the information that we're providing you with and use it to your advantage and grow and go. That's what I want to tell you guys. Take that from me. Please just worry about yourself because I promise you, if you start worrying about yourself and you know stay off Instagram and worrying about it, if you stay in your own lane, do your own thing, I promise you, it's going to get greater later. That's what I want to tell you guys about this video. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support. I definitely had to make this video. I should have been made the video, but it is what it is. Make sure you guys lock in for the next video and put me on your big screen video. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it is DDK, and I'm on my way.